hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today as you can see from the title i'll be telling you guys how to ace your exam so i'll show you how i just go through my whole exam prep today i'm going for ninth class i'm going with my friend but she's not here at the moment so this is just like a uh, intro vlog intro of the vlog yes this is my <laughs> exam here <laughs> because like during exam period it's not time to like hurry any bogus type of hair <laughs> they play before you cut your hair it's like exam or they chase you out for wrong hair i'm obviously loving it so now let's get into the ninth class vlog and everything i do to make sure that i ace my exam alongside praying in secondary school i did pretty well without studying but when university came it was kind of difficult and i had to study because i wanted to do well not only in university but also in life in general especially being raised by learning african parents so in this video i'll be giving three tips that you need for you to be able to ace your exams for you to be able to study 15 hours a day if it's something that is for you tip number one is measure your study you need to measure the length and the depth that is the length which is the time and the depth which is your progress so you have to prepare how you pack for a one hour flight is not the same way you pack for an eight hour flight right ask yourself would i get cold so i need a jacket would i get bored so maybe i need a headset would i get hungry or thirsty so i need water you need to make good use of your time not zoning out sleeping off or being stressed try to get as deep as possible before pharmacy school i could barely study three hours without getting a headache but i adopted a good mindset and i've taken deliberate action to be able to push myself in terms of depth and length note depth is far more important than how long you study i understand that one can get burned out with this study lifestyle but you have to be patient with yourself tip number two you need motivation and drive motivation gets you started while drive continues and keeps you pushing drive doesn't care about the rain outside when you want to go study kind of easy to be motivated to do hard things but when facing challenges motivation is not going to work that's why one needs drive i was able to find my drive with the help of the driven people around me for example my friend slash ex-roommate grace i don't should watch this video and also people like my mom like having driven people around you you obviously you tap from their energy your drive can be sheer fear of feeling you get that's not such a good drive to have but i've met some people that say that's what keeps them going <laughs> so it's 10 o'clock <laughs> <laughs> so it's 10 o'clock this is basically the time that i should go for my ninth class i'm having snacks i know yeah that's like a video i'm putting the video <laughs> As I was saying, my aspirations and my goals and my drive. In secondary school, I was mid to say the least. Don't get me wrong, I was brilliant. Winning math competition in my primary school, essay competitions in my secondary school, alongside representing my school externally. But I didn't feel fulfilled that on getting to the university, I wanted to have the full experience. Which to me was being unforgettable, have friends, figure out what I really want, connect to people and succeed. So your drive is one that is personal and will keep you going. When you're out there fighting, you might forget why you got there. So you need to figure out what drives you. Why do you want to get good grades? Why do you want to become a better person? Tip number three is strong system. After you figured out your drive and your motivation, you need to develop strong and stable habits that will keep you consistent. It helps stop procrastination and helps you do something persistently. So when I want to study, it's not like I'm forcing myself. My body just knows and I just get up and do it. Pushing yourself so hard isn't easy. There should be a balance and the limits because your physical health and well-being is just as important as studying. I take a lot of caffeine during periods of test and exam so i make deliberate actions to stay off caffeine during other periods getting a life outside studying can also keep your health in check whether it be physically or mentally like for me it was going to the gym sometimes learning something new like a language hanging out with friends getting closer to god i want to sleep right now so yeah ninth class was a success but Sleep got me right now, and I forgot to vlog. Maybe I'll do another vlog. Maybe I will not. What's remaining just for me to show you guys how I organize and stuff like that. My book and what to read and we can give what I create. 
I'll probably show you that tomorrow morning because like I'm leaving here at five AM. Same here, ten PM leaving five AM. We are going to stay and sleep till sleep till what do you call it? It's seven thirty. So from five thirty AM to seven thirty AM I was because it's taking me thirty minutes to get to my house so more thirty minutes well, about that time. Mm. Yeah, and I get there. Mm-hmm. And I sleep and I wake up seven thirty, I'll go to classroom by nine but I have to wake up bed, eat stuff like the other thing drink. Then I'll not be able to Go to class and show you guys how I organize that, that what I read and I'm feeling so sleepy. Sorry guys. I come back to my YouTube channel. Maybe <laughs> it's working. Why do yeah. you know what? Why not loud like you're talking very I'm going back to my hostel. I know my voice is somehow left, I'm feeling sleepy. Rain is falling. Are we going to walk on that dress? Do you have umbrella with you? You don't have to go. Ma'am? You don't have to go. Really, baby, actually. She's deceiving me that you really know him. You don't have to go. It's because we're inside. But I'm here in the noise. Yes, because we're inside. What's that, Jala? What's that? So, bye, ninth class. This is the ninth class care. Congratulations, you have a gift. Somebody gave me umbrella, a kind girl. I would show her face while she's in the dark. Get her, gave me the umbrella. Angela. <laughs> Please note, I'm not saying you have to study long like I did. Just figure out what you're comfortable with and what you're willing to do. Not to dispute the things I said in this video, but this advice might not be for you. It's a lifestyle that is not easy, Ever but if you decide to embark on it, I'm rooting for you. Ever in thought. Ever in life. Ever in life. What if you have your master's abroad and you do nice class? So you cover everything with the time. This is our academy doing the work. Last night class, what do you have to say? I don't know those things. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. This is our last day. Oh, this is our big ninth class in Uniports. What do you have to say? <laughs> Wow. Are you sure you don't want to come and do your master's and be doing ninth class in Uniport? You gotta have mercy on you for that first thing. <laughs> ninth class in Uniport, what do you have to say? <laughs> BGS. No, I did it. <laughs> last ninth class in Uniport, what do you have to say? Or maybe it's not your last. Will you come back here for your master's in PCG and be doing ninth class? Work. <laughs> <laughs> last ninth class in Uniport, what do you have to say? About what? Last ninth class in Uniport, what do you have to say? I believe it's not your last. This is last. <laughs> you don't have to say that. You don't see me again. Aww. My ninth class. Last ninth class in pharmacy school, what do you have to say? I'm very excited. I can't <laughs> wait. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you'll not be coming back here for your no. master? Hi, Ujuma. Oh, Tell me how your last ninth class is feeling. Or are you coming back here to do more ninth class in Uniport? Everybody. <laughs> This is our BGS right here. You know the vibes. Wow. <laughs> our BGS aspirants, how are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling about your last night class? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to do more night class. <laughs> you come and do night class to watch film. <laughs> BGS aspirant, BGS aspirant, how are you feeling about your last night class? Mm. Or are you coming back for your master's in PCG? Oh, Zoom on night class. <laughs> Aspirants, how are you feeling about your last night's class? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, it's not the last. Will you come and do your master's in PCG what? and do ninth class? Please, please, please. This, is, this is the last, like, my last fucking night class, guys. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh, oh my god. Like, this means so much to me. Like, oh no more mosquito bites. Oh, Jesus. cold in the night. Like, see, I'm having flu. It's a magic. Exposing myself, exposing myself, my precious self to cold for D fab. D fab. So we just want to sign off from the video. I tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is in, this is the normal time to close nice class. I think we're going back to our hostel and this is the last time. Yes. We're all coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So. We just want to say that we're grateful. Like, we're not just making this video just to, like, as content. We're using it to reflect and just to, like, praise God and thank Him. I've been going for this night class since 2017. Since basic. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and for once, I'm not stolen my property. You know, it was probably used to steal. Like, there have been no raping. There have been no, like, all those bad bad things that used to be happening in ninth class it not happened to us so we just want to like thank god for guys god's guidance and projection obviously we don't like we're saying oh we are happy with it like happening to other people and what's not what it happens that's just the same. like that's the part of the world that we find ourselves I and mean, it happens it's not something that does not happen so we're just grateful that god has protected us guided us this place has been the place that we come and jack <laughs> and we go <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> and you know the vibes you know the vibes no threats <laughs> no no Ooh. no injury no <laughs> no we can watch and stop us <laughs> and let us go finally today safely so so when you stop <laughs> <laughs> bye. 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 Bye.